invertebrates possess a type of neuron classified as a unipolar neuron because only one process leaves the soma. In humans, other vertebrates, and invertebrates, there is another type of neuron which is sometimes called a unipolar neuron, but is more accurately called a pseudo-unipolar neuron. These neurons begin as bipolar neurons with a single dendrite and a single axon, although some prefer to call this ultimately as one single axon which has dendrites branching from one tip. Um, these pseudo-unipolar neurons form most sensory neurons in humans and include the longest neurons in the human body. The dendrites of pseudo-unipolar neurons, or if one prefers the branches from the axon, uh, because some don't feel that these neurons have true dendrites, these perceive a variety of senses. The majority perceive uh, senses such as touch, pain, temperature, vibration, and proprioception. Uh, these include all of those which will reach the spinal cord directly and most of those which reach the brain. Some which reach the brain also are relaying information about taste from taste buds or from the specialized carotid body where the common carotid artery branches about blood pressure and the chemical content of the blood. The soma of these pseudo-unipolar neurons are almost always located outside the central nervous system. And so a cluster of these soma is what's referred to as a ganglion. Uh, clusters of soma are called nuclei when inside the central nervous system. These ganglia include the dorsal root ganglia, which lie along the spinal cord, and the pseudo-unipolar soma of many of the cranial nerves are located in ganglia associated with the cranial nerves. There is a trigeminal ganglion, a geniculate ganglion, the superior and inferior ganglia of both the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves. There is one example where these soma lo are located inside the central nervous system in what's called the mesencephalic nucleus of the brainstem because they migrate here during embryonic development. These sensory neurons, and that's their ganglia, develop from neural crest cells in embryos. This is a special uh, type of embryonic cell in uh, vertebrates, which only vertebrates have. With the exception of the mesencephalic nucleus, uh, which is inside the brainstem, uh, an axon then projects from the ganglion, which lies outside the central nervous system, to the central nervous system. And the length of this axon and its connections can vary. So for example, in the spinal cord, for pain and temperature pathways, uh, these axon synapse uh, with multipolar uh, neurons just inside the spinal cord. So uh, the first order neurons for pain and temperature end just inside the spinal cord. While for touch pathways, the first order neurons, the pseudo-unipolar sensory neurons, actually proceed through the spinal cord, through the posterior column, and do not synapse until they reach the medulla oblongata. Thus, these can be quite long because touch neurons can go from the tip of one's toe all the way up one's leg to reach the spinal cord and then all the way up the back only to end in the brainstem. These cells could be more than six feet long.